This is Uriah Heap with the Wizard CB, CBT guitar lesson. And this is uh, for Jim. For your brother, right? If I remember right. Had a note. I wrote that down. This is in drop C. Now you mentioned you thought C open tuning, so your, your ear was leading you right. But it's actually not. It's a drop C. It's a drop D concept. C, G, C, F, A, D. Really cool song. I like the chords in it, melodic. And uh, we're going to jump in. Based out of um, like a D form. So 2E, 3B. I put the fingering, the pick direction, and everything for you, Jim, because it's important um, to make it fluent and flow like this. So we're going open up top on string six, short rest, and then we've got our E, B, and then an open D downstroke on that. Make sure you watch your pick directions in your tabs. You do that twice. And then we're going to go to a D suspended by adding our pinky to the third fret on the high E, pick, and pull off to the second fret. All right, so. And then go to the B string where it sits, open D. And then open high E, hammer on to the second fret. And then the third fret B. So you have a real pretty part. That gives you. Short rest there. C add nine, three A, open D and G, three B. And then a G with the B bass. Just go to the second fret A, keep everything else the same. When you pick that, go down, 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 up, down, 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 up. We're gonna pick in the direction of the next string coming up. It's not always like that on guitar, um, but in this case, definitely. And then open G and D. Third fret on the E string, bend it. Open E, strum the D chord. Open E, and then double dots. You go back to right after the set of double dots, which is the F sharp, in standard that's an F sharp. Um, but you're starting it over basically, minus that first open. So you end up doing this. No star the second time. Up to the G with the B bass. And then jump to the, um, after the double dot, which is on the low E string, three, two, three, bend. And then an open E. From the D chord, open E. And then section one B is the D major chord. And you're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down. When you change, that last uh, down is a D suspended, so that's pinky added to 3E. So, sounds like this. And then resolve to a D, so. Then middle finger off. Everything else, leave it, that's a D too. Go down, up, down, up, but you're gonna go. The second one will be a D, but then you're going right back to the D too, so it's. So you have 3A, 2D, open G, 3B, open high E. That's a C add 9. And what he does, once you've got all those notes clear, you're going to go down, up, down, up. And then the G with the B bass, same thing. But down, up, down, up, down, up, open E. And then strum the D chord, down up, so to be, and then open E again. That whole section, it's key, because they do it a lot, is going to be three times, third time no star. So the third time sounds like this. Oops. That chord just rings out. Um, next part is 36 seconds in. It's the section 1C, and it's a C add 9 to the G with the B bass. Now this is the one you were just using. Go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. 
and do the exact same thing over the G with the B bass. And you're gonna do it two times. So it sounds like this. And it's almost it, believe it or not. Series of repeats. Um, and then section 2A, a minute 29 in. It sounds like there's two guitars. I looked at the live one and one, the acoustic doing like a. Um, something along those lines. Not really hearing that in the studio. It's more rocked out, heavy. Okay, and it's a little more distorted than this as well. But it's a barred third fret E and A, slide or fifth fret I mean E and A, slide to the seventh fret, stop the notes, and then go back do it again, but go up down. So it's and then slide again, and then zero three five on the A, and then five E, and I would just go just shift that same finger, the third finger up. If not, you can go with the middle finger, that's fine too. So. And then do the five to seven slide. And then we go to the top of page three, up, down, five, seven. And then back to the fifth fret. It's gonna be there a while. It goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. It goes. All right, that whole section is four times. So you're going back to. Oops, I keep wanting to go to the third fret, it's fifth fret. There you go. That's the whole song. Um, so really, you're looking at what? I've got 1A, 1B, 1C, and 2A. That's your section names. It's four parts that you have to memorize. And the first three are usually, like, for the most part, mixtures of the same chords, maybe adding a note here or there. But um, I hope you do well with this. Um, use your tabs. Follow the, the fingering in your tabs. And follow the, uh, the pick direction that I put. Um, I think it'll really help you out, so...